What's going on YouTube? It's your boy K Dash. If you're brand new to this channel, I do a couple of things. I got a clothing brand by the name of Savage Hearted Clothing. You know what I'm saying? The link will be in the description. Matter of fact, you probably see some uh some clothes just underneath the description of this video. And I do photography and videography. Lately, I haven't been doing much client work. It's been more focused on my brand. Um but yeah, anyway, this video is about Black Friday sales 2023. That's going to be on Savage Hearted Clothing. At a, matter of fact, it's already online right now. Life up easy. A lot of rocks on me. I play greasy. It ain't no plotting on me. I did the sale a little bit early this year. So that way it could last for about a week and a half. You know what I'm saying? So the sale is going to end on the 27th. Um, But while supplies last, you feel me? So we're gonna go in depth through, I say maybe the the top three uh, deals on the website. Something that I did different this year is I made it where you don't have to put no code in. All of the deals that I'm gonna be explaining is automatically added as soon as it recognizes those items in the cart. So let's start off with the first, you know, shorts run my brand you know that's the main thing of my brand when the shorts started doing so good as you can see different sizes when the shorts started doing good then people start to say well we want a shirt to match the shorts or we want a set so that made me expand you know what i'm saying if you're thinking about starting a brand first perfect one item and then once that item is bringing in revenue then you can go ahead and expand instead of trying to jump in the game promoting four different products like whether it's gonna be a shirt or some shorts or a hoodie like i i would suggest you perfect that one thing first and then move forward another thing if you starting a brand or if you have a brand and you new to a clothing brand right now we in november we in mid-november you should already be working on your summer stuff not winter your summer stuff or if you want to say spring you know what i'm saying which people are gonna wear the same thing almost like for spring and summer you know what i'm saying but you should already be working on the spring and summer summer things right now so that's how far you got to be ahead so salute to all the clothing brand um owners because in order to have a successful brand you have to be like three to four months ahead of everybody else you know what I'm saying? So when somebody when somebody purchased something and they like, man, that's a live jacket and it sells out, they just don't know that you had this plan over six months ago. You see what I'm saying? So it could it could easily go either way. It could succeed or it could fail because again, things can change in six months. So what was hot six months ago may may not be hot six months from now you see what i'm saying or vice versa so you really gotta like think ahead and kind of you know find that pocket to to know okay this is gonna work and i have this niche and these the, this audience you know what i'm saying that they gonna support it regardless so it's gonna take a little bit of time for you to find that pocket but as long as you stay consistent and you keep trying different things and then you pay attention to what works for you It'll, it'll work out anyway so the first thing on the website is shorts buy two shorts get one free i even did something even more player some of the shorts and i'm gonna show and we're gonna get to those in a minute was a hundred dollars because i have three three different stages of shorts shorts that's 45 and sometimes they mark down to 35 65 and then 100 so you just get what's in your price range so these are the 45 right so these shorts and any other the shorts like you can you can put a pair of 45 shorts 65 100 you can put three pair of the 45 dollar shorts it don't matter you see what i'm saying it don't matter the cost as long as it's three shorts in the cart it's going to automatically give you one of them for free you see what i'm saying let's go through the details so we got metal tip drawstrings right you got the money printed in the pocket that's like one of the signature things for this brand 
these shorts is so comfortable, especially if you just need something to rock around the crib or if you don't just want to be hot and you just want something comfortable that's just going to breathe well, these are the shorts to go with. You know what I'm saying? These shorts I actually dropped as a set that got the matching bucket hat. You feel me? I would put it on, but this is potentially somebody's hat, so I ain't going to even put it on. I'm going to just show y'all that. That's the set. This is my first bucket hat set that I um I did. I always wanted a bucket hat for my brand, a custom bucket hat, not no just put your embroidery. And I always wanted this rubber patch. I don't know why. I want to do this on some joggers next. Like I want that to be the logo on the top and the bottom because I feel like with Savage Hearted with my brand, I'm gonna do stuff that I know other Houston brands can't do. I mean, they can do it, but they got to go find a manufacturer. And most people don't want to do that. They just know somebody who print up shirts and they're going to go get those shirts printed. And they're just going to have their they name screen printed in the back of the uh, of the shirt. And then they're just going to sell it like that. Because most people are trying to maximize the profit, right? So it's, it's easier and it's cheaper for me to go get a Bella canvas or a Gildan shirt for 3 to $4 dollars. Have somebody screen print it for another three or four dollars. Now we at eight dollars, right? We're gonna round it up to nine. It's nine dollars, and then they turn around and they sell it to y'all for let's say thirty-five dollars, forty dollars, some of them fifty and sixty, right? But they only paid nine dollars for it. So you're only gonna get so much out of a shirt that's that was nine dollars originally yeah you might have paid 40 or 50 dollars for it but the shirt quality is nine dollars how do you tell if a shirt is nine dollars okay when you look on the side of the shirt this has a seam right here if your shirt is nine dollars it ain't gonna have no seam right here going down the side because they take a they take a whole bunch of fabric and then they just cut a hundred shirts out of all this fabric at one time so it's no it's no need to sew a seam on the side because they just cut out the whole shirt you, you get what i'm saying so all they do is they put the the hem around this part around the neck around this part that's all they do now with my brand it's a hundred percent custom so i start off by picking the fabric then I got to pick the color of the fabric. Picking the fabric and picking the color is two different things. You see what I'm saying? Because you can go with 100% cotton. You can go with 80% uh, cotton. is whatever. You got to pick the fabric first. Then you pick the color of the shirt. After that, they're going to cut just this front part of the shirt. There's no sleeves. There's no neck. There's no back. It's just the front part of the shirt because they got to put the logo. Same thing if I got a logo on the back, it's just gonna be the back of the shirt with nothing else because they're gonna print the logos. Once that's done, then they're gonna start combining the shirt together once they printed the front or the back logo. They start combining the shirt together, which they gotta sew it together. They gotta sew the front to the back. That's where you get the seam on the side. You see what I'm saying? That's how you know it's a custom shirt. After that's done, then they gotta go put I add extra stuff on my shirt. So it's called a hip label, right? This label, they got to put the hip label on the sleeves. The sleeves is being done separately before it gets sewn to the shirt. So then I put an embroidery on the sleeve. Why I'm doing this? Because I'm showing y'all the price matches the quality. Every piece that I'm, I'm breaking down, the embroidery of the sleeve, the hip label, the logo on the front. These are, these are all different prices. You see what I'm saying? With a with a with a screen print, you really paying per color. So if it's a if it's a lot of colors in that shirt, then instead of it being a nine dollar shirt, it might be a ten or twelve dollar shirt. You see what I'm saying? But it ain't gonna go past no fifteen dollars. I can guarantee you that. Per shirt, it really should be less than that when you're dealing with quantity like fifty or a hundred or two three hundred. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, back to the custom shirt. So now. After everything is printed and bordered, sewn together, now they got to package it. You see what I'm saying? So 
it's gotta come. I don't I don't package this. It has to come like this with a size or tag. Matter of fact, man, hold on. Shorts, buy two, get one free on the website right now. No code needed. Let's just go to one of the shirts so I can show y'all. There is no screen print with the logo in the back. It's a custom woven tag. That's an extra cost. You see what I'm saying? So, lower to the bag. I made my first two varsity jackets this year to the brand Savage Charter, and I'm proud of that because I've been wanting to do a custom varsity jacket for a minute, and we got that coming up next after the shirts. But I want to show y'all the shirts first. So, I give y'all a, a story behind this box. This is the Loyal to the Bag custom shirt and it comes in this box. This box was not supposed to be for these shirts. This box was originally supposed to be for the varsity jackets, right? However, I sent them the dimensions in inches. When they sent it back to me, the proof to approve, it was in centimeters and I didn't catch it. So again, when you having a brand, Anytime they ask you to prove something or prove it, make sure it's exactly how you sent it. Yeah, it was they fault, but they can easily flip that, which they did on me because I approved the centimeters and not the inches. At that point, if I would have caught the centimeters and not the inches, I would have said, hey, 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 this ain't right. This supposed to be inches instead of centimeters. Most likely they would have said, okay, we can do that, but the price changes. We got to charge you more. You see what I'm saying? Anyway. I thought I was winning with the price. I should have known better. So this is the loyal to the bag now. Because of that whole little situation, this shirt did not come in this package. The shirt just came in this plastic bag. You feel me? However, I need to keep track of what these sizes is. So I just put the boxes back in the bag. So I'll know when somebody order a small, this is a small shirt in here. But I want to show y'all the packaging and the detail because let's be honest, how many people do y'all get y'all clothing in this type of packaging for the same price? You know what I'm saying? All the shirts don't come in this packaging, but the lower to the back shirt does. So let's get into it. So all the logos that's on the shirt is on the box, right? We got seven charted on the back. So when you open it up, I don't flipped it around. I heard it. Here we go. So we got seven charted clothing since 2015 in Roman numerals. You got a custom keychain with the same logo that's on the back of the uh the shirt. And then you got your shirt that's in the inside. So inside of the yeah more logos in the inside I'm gonna put this back in the box in a minute all right so the shirt as I was explaining to y'all so this shirt we got a front logo this is a custom woven tag so if you ever I don't care where you get the shirt from you might have got it from the mall you might have got it online. If you ever forget the website and you're trying to remember to buy some more merch, the website is always on the tag of all the clothes, right? Then we got the custom hang tag, even though this is an extra fee just for you to cut it off. You feel me? This serves really no purpose. It's just aesthetics, just for the, the look and the presentation. It says, welcome to the brand, and it has our Instagram name on here. That's also our TikTok name, right? With our logo, again, with the website, in case you want to shop again, you don't have to go and search like, oh, you don't have to go to Google. You know exactly what the website is. The back of the shirt, that's the logo. Let me get you details. You can clearly see that seam on the side. Now, one thing about our shirts that makes it cost, hold on, with the embroidery on the sleeve. One thing about our shirts that make it cost more and why our shirts last longer than other brands is because you cannot really get this fabric in the U.S. So 
I ain't even gonna tell y'all which frat beard it is, but I'm gonna tell y'all that all of our shirts, they stretch. You see what I'm saying? Your regular shirts don't do that and, and they don't pop back into the regular, you see what I'm saying? So make sure that you paying for quality, but make sure that that quality matches the price. These shirts I can easily sell for $75 to $100, they're $45. That's the second deal on the website. Buy two shirts, get one free. So this is the first time we're doing this deal for Black Friday, but it's buy two shirts, get one free. Now, moving on from the shirts, we get into my favorite part, which is the varsity jackets. The varsity jackets, I just added these varsity jackets this year. Before we even get into the details of the varsity jacket, I added something to my varsity jackets that you're not gonna see on no other varsity jackets until they get a hold of this video because they gonna bite. I already know it's coming, right? Most of the varsity jackets, they don't have a hood. So nine times out of 10, people wear hoodies underneath their varsity jackets. And that's what made me pay attention to it because I'm like, well, if I don't wanna wear a hoodie, I still want a hood though, you feel me? So what I did was I added a hood to my varsity jackets, but if you don't want to wear the hood, you can just unzip it, you feel me? And take it off. So let's do that. And then we're going to go through the details of this varsity jacket. So boom. Now we unzip the hood, fix that drawstring. The hood by itself, we ain't even going to. Now let's get into the details of the jacket again. Make sure that your quality is matching the cost. I ain't even gonna talk about no other brands. I'm gonna just talk about this jacket. It's $280 for Black Friday week. We're doing $230, so you're getting $50 off. Any Anything on our website, if you feel like, man, that's a lot of bread to pay at one time, you can check out with Afterpay and break it up into four payments. So the four payments is basically your whole subtotal, you know what I'm saying? It's not per item. Your whole total cart, you can break it up into full payment so you ain't gotta pay everything at one time and it don't charge you no interest. You check out with Afterpay. It's a purple button on the website, but here's the thing. Let me give y'all, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay attention. When you check out with Afterpay, it's gonna automatically default. It's gonna have two options. It's gonna automatically default to paid in full. Right underneath the paid in full option, it's gonna say break into four installments. You have to click that option. If not, it's gonna charge you in full and I'm getting all my bread at one time. So I'm just giving y'all some game. Later, now let's get into the jacket. So the, the weight is heavy, you feel me? This is like wool type fabric, you feel me? Chanelli patch on the front. Now the things with varsity jackets, the bigger the patches is, the more it costs. The type of patches is, the different costs. So you got embroidery, you got Chanelli, and then you got embossed and some other stuff, right? So this is Chanelli patch on the front. On the sleeve, we got Savage Chanelli patch. You feel me? The buttons, custom buttons with the Savage Hearted logo. Why? Because I know other brands in my city not gonna do it until I do it. I know. And I'm just basing myself on like an independent level. You know what I'm saying? Like I know Michael Kors and Versace and Fendi and all them. They do this, but I ain't got their budget. You see what I'm saying? So it's a difference. All right. Moving on to the back. We got the big Chanelli patch on the back. I don't know. This should probably like 15 inches on the back. Moving over to this sleeve. I switched it. I ain't want to do the same thing as the other sleeve. So I did all embroidery. So these three patches are embroidered, right? Then when you look in the inside, we got the inside pocket. You know what I'm saying? You want to put your phone or whatever with the custom hang tag with the Savage Hearted website. So this is one of the varsity jackets. Put this thing on. It's my size in the way. This one of the varsity jackets, as you can see, the way that the varsity jacket is made, you wouldn't even be able to tell that it has a zipper under underneath this part with a hood. Like you won't even be able to know. So 
That's the varsity jackets. This one is on sale for Black Friday, and we got the um the shirt that I just showed y'all, loyal to the bag. We have the matching varsity jacket for that shirt as well. So, last but not least, I wanted to show y'all that on the website, you might be like, oh, I don't want them type of shorts. I want some mesh shorts. Oh, right, yeah, we got that too. We got that too. It's just a different cost. You feel me? So, we got the mesh shorts. Double mesh. Let's be clear. These are double mesh. What I mean by that is, these holes that's on the outside is different than this is that's on the inside. It's two different fabrics. You know what I'm saying? Piece of yarn. Two different fabrics. Now, these shorts have zippers on all the pockets. We still got the money printed in the pocket, but they got zippers on the side pocket and on the back pocket. So these is more secure. If you if you carrying a lot of money on a daily day basis, I would suggest the double mesh shorts. We got these and we got the Houston uh, double mesh shorts, but also we got rugs on sale. It's a lot more things on sale. Those are the main three. Matter of fact, hold on. We do got the rugs on sale because I got to show y'all this. The rugs, I want to say they like 150 off on the rugs. These rugs is over five, five foot. So they're not no small rugs. But uh, it's more deals on the website. Y'all make sure y'all go check out the website. I appreciate everybody that supported my brand. I got something major to announce in December. And um, it's for the city and we really turning up. Appreciate all the support. Y'all can also use the code uh SHC fam S A C F A M if y'all want to get a uh additional discount off and that's just for staying to the end of this video. It's your boy K Dash Holla.